Hi everyone, welcome, konnichiwa. Today we're going to be looking at an NHK Easy article. This is about some holiday periods coming up and it's a good article to practice our numbers with. There's also to kind of look at the interaction between kind of politics and the government and everyday life in Japan. So if you check out the YouTube description box, there's a link to the Google Doc, which I just had up on screen. It's going to have a word list in there. It'll also have a link to the article, although NHK Easy tends to take down their articles or kind of move them into an archive, so uh, that link might not work forever. All right, so first off though, we're gonna, I'm just gonna read through the article and then we'll go through the word list and then we will kind of look at what the article is saying. So first off we have here, Tōkakan no yasumi, tokubetsu ni byōin no akeru hi o kimeru. 4月27日から5月6日まで休みが10日間続きます。この間に病気や怪我をした人が困らないように特別に病院を開ける日を決めました。病院が空いてる日は都道府県が調べてウェブサイトに出しています。厚生 労働省のウェブサイトからも探すことができます。厚生労働省は急に病気や怪我をした時は最初に電話で相談してほしいと言っています。日本のどこからでもシャープ8000に電話をかけると子供の病気や怪我について相談することができます。東京や大阪などではシャープ7119に電話をかけると子供以外の病気や怪我についても相談することができます。Alright, so let's go through our word list and see what's going on. So first off we have 10日間. So this is kind of a combination of a few things, but uh, these two, so 10日, this means basically the 10th day of the month. And then when we add this kanji, it's a period of that, so a period of 10 days. Now I've got a whole video on counting encounters. I would really suggest you check that out. Take him's also got a really great article on his website, uh, guide to japanese.org. But I've covered this quite a few times, but tōkakan, so a period of 10 days. We have yasumi. Uh, this is actually a verb, but you can turn it into a noun from yasumu. It means a vacation or a break. Uh, we have tokubetsu ni, just comes from tokubetsu, ni is obviously our particle, but tokubetsu, it's really a, a few translations, any of these is fine, special is probably the best. We have byoin, which is our hospital, akeru, to open, as in for business. Now, uh, if you're kind of familiar with intransitive and intransitive verbs, this might seem a little bit confusing, uh, but... It's it's some this this verb in particular akeru, uh, it's it kind of blurs the line between transitive and intransitive sometimes. So this might seem a bit weird to some people if you really know your intransitive verbs, but uh, I really don't have a better explanation rather than it's just kind of a very uh, fluid word. All right, we have kimeru, this decide or to choose. We have a, a date here, so kore wa ne shigatsu nichu shichi nichi. Now you could also say niju nana nichi if you want. I prefer to say niju shichi nichi. It's really up to you. April the 27th. Now this word has many, many meanings. So it's suzuki. Again, it comes from a verb, suzuku. And we see it's got quite a lot. And it really, it's kind of this one. So this, it's a sequence series of spells. Because they're talking about, uh, this is basically golden week in Japan where you have a whole bunch of public holidays that coincide around the end of April and early May and so then it just kind of turns into one long holiday and particularly this year it's it's becoming 10 straight days and so they're kind of saying well it's a sequence of 10 days sequence of vacations kind of uh, we have this mark kono aida ni from kono aida this just means during x for example during the 10 days all right we have byoki so now instead of byoin we have byoki so us, you know, bio basically means a sickness. So bio ki is talking about something that affects you, whereas a bio in is the, the building itself. Uh, kera, there is kanji for this. It's a bit tricky, and this even gets written in katakana quite a lot. So it's an injury. 
Komaru to be troubled by something. Aiteruhi, okay, so again, I mentioned this before with the transitive intransitive. So here we see it's not akeru anymore. This is originally aku. And this is normally what you would expect the verb to be when you're talking about a shop being open. Um, but here it's the days that things are open. Just a bit weird. I don't have much better explanation than that. Uh, we have todofke. This is a word I would always recommend everyone learns. It's a very common JLPT word. But this is just a fancy word that describes all the administrative uh, divisions of Japan. So the to is for Tokyo to. Okay, so basically the city of Tokyo. Then we have do, which is Hokkaido, the island up the top. We have Osaka fu, Kyoto fu, which is basically the kind of cities of Osaka and Kyoto. And then the ken is pretty much what I guess a lot more people would be familiar with, which is the prefectures themselves. The, the kind of the vast majority of the, the land left in Japan. So, uh, shiraberu. Now, this is actually shirabete in the article. It's just the te form, though. So, shiraberu means to, to look up or to investigate something. So, here it's the these prefect, these sorry, these administrative regions which look up something. Uh, dasu, so to put out or to publish because they look up something and then they publish the information. We have our kosei ro dosho. Now, not exactly a word uh, you guys have to know. Really, if you can re remember this kanji, it's um, this just means kind of a ministry, a government department. So if th those of you who are keen on your radicals, you might see at the top we have skunai up here, which is also read as shore. Uh, so that's one way to remember this kanji. Just kind of go, oh, that, the kanji which has shore at the top like this. Um, uh, is also read as shore when it's this this different kanji. And then I always used to think that the I down the bottom, it's like 1984, right? Like the government's always watching you. So you can't do even a little thing wrong because the government's always watching you. That's the, radical, that's the kind of little mnemonic I um, taught myself, right? Little thing because obviously it's kunai at the top and then because they're watching you is the I down the bottom. All right. So yeah, it's good to remember this, but there's lots and lots of government departments. So, I mean, it's not really a good word necessarily to remember because there's, you know, if you're talking about JLPT, they're never going to really test you on this kind of stuff apart from in the much higher levels. But, you know, anyway, that's as much as I'll talk about. Otherwise, you should be able to recognize this uh, door kanji if you're going for N4. Maybe a lot of you will recognize this one. All right. Uh, we have sagasu, which is to look up or to search for. Now we have kyuni. This again can have quite a few meanings, but I just kind of left the second ones bolded because here it's talking about abruptly. So basically people getting sick um, over this 10 week, uh, sorry, 10 day period, they don't kind of expect it, right? So these are not people who have like an ongoing illness. They they fall and hurt themselves during this time and then they need to get to the hospital. Talking about... Uh, Saisho ni from Saisho, okay, at the, at the outset of something. We have denwa, it's our phone call. So dan, um, you know, this is just a noun, but like a lot of nouns in Japanese, we can put suru on the end to turn them into a verb. So so dan suru, to consult, to discuss something. Uh, you or you, I mean, you can use either of these pronunciations uh, to say something. Denwa or kakeru, this is really just to emphasize that we use this verb kakeru, to make a phone call. It's kind of a, uh, if you look at what kakeru means, you wouldn't really expect it to um, uh, mean make a phone call. But anyway, it's, it's a good set phrase to remember because again, JLPT tends to test this phrase quite a lot. Because it's just basically because it's commonly said in Japanese. Uh, we have our tilde with a to, so just kind of showing our something to is our to conditional. So it's really setting up a natural if or when statement. Kodomo, child or children, Tokyo, Osaka, Igai, which is the exception or something. Okay, so let's go through our article line by line. We'll just look at some the grammar in a bit more detail and kind of see how these words are working in context. So first we have Tokakan no Yasumi. Alright, so a 10 day period vacation. Tokubetsu ni byoin o akeruhi. So basically, specially, okay, remember this word means special, but to when we have ni 
on the end of our nouns like this uh, kind of turns them into adverbs or adjectives. So, specially, yoi no akeruhi. So, basically, the day to open hospitals. Or, imeru. Alright, so to decide. Now, this might seem like a bit of a strange sentence for a lot of you because you notice we've got two or particles in here. It's not impossible, obviously, because it's happening here. Um, it is kind of rare. I tend to try and avoid having two or particles in the same sentence, but um, it is possible, as you can see here. We've got our date, shigatsu nijuroku nichi. All right, so we've got some good practice with our numbers. So, shigatsu nijuroku nichi nichi kara, gogatsu numika made. Okay, so from that date until this date, yasumi ga tokakan tsuzukimasu. All right, really good usage of our ga particle here, because it's saying the holidays are the things that are continuing for 10 days. Okay, so it's kind of talking about an upcoming event, obviously. The kono aida ni, so during this 10 day period, byoki ya kega o shita hito ga, the people who um, become sick or hurt themselves, komara nai yoni. So we had the verb komaru in our word list, which means to be troubled. Komaranai, so to not be troubled. Yoni, so in order that people are not troubled. Tokubetsu ni byoi no akeru hi o kimemashita. Okay, so it's kind of restating our headline, but basically we've, they've decided that um, hospitals will be specially opened um, on certain dates during this period. Yoinga aiteru hi wa, so basically the day that hospitals are opened. Orofkenga shirabete, so the those administ basically the local governments, right? The, the 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 administrative regions like the prefectures, the and then Osaka and Hokkaido, the local city, or well not cities, but the prefectural level government. I guess it's kind of hard to put this in English because we don't have these words in English, but these regional uh, government bodies ga shirabete so they kind of look up in their own prefectures or cities or whatever what hospitals are going to be open on what days okay that's what they do that's kind of their their purview right they look it up they contact the hospitals or whatever and then website on it dashteimasu okay and then they put that information up on their local government websites right so people can look it up and know but now we see Kosei Rodo Show no website to Kara mo Sagasukoto ga dekimas. So we see we also can do this from the federal level, right? So from the, the national level government, you know. This is not the local government anymore, this is the I don't know if you can call it federal in Japan, but anyway at any rate the national government um is doing this. And so we see that this um this federal level Ministry, Kyuni Byokia Kego Statokiwa. So basically, if you kind of unexpectedly hurt yourself or become sick, Saisho ni denwa de sodan shite hoshi. Alright, so Saisho ni, so at the outset, in the beginning, denwa de, so basically by means of telephone, sodan shite. So basically, do a consultation over the phone. The, the, the hospitals may be open. But we see that they're probably not running at full capacity, so they still want to, unless it's kind of really urgent, we don't, they don't want people going to the hospital. So we see, uh, how do I know, I, I, I said that word want, how do we know what's want? Sodan shite hoshi. Okay, so this is a bit of, um, I'm not sure this would be N5 grammar, it's probably more N4, but it could come up in N5, I guess. But when we have te form hoshi, it's a way of saying that someone else wants to do something. And who is that someone else? Well, it's generally the topic of the sentence. So the, the minist this ministry has obviously put out some kind of press release or something and said, hey, you know, this is how it's going to work over this golden week period. It's, it's going to work. There's going to be hospitals that are open, but try not to overwhelm them by just doing a phone consult to see if it really is necessary for you to come into the hospital. All right, to itteimasu. This is what they're saying. All right, so we have Nippon no or Nihon no doko kara demo. So basically from anywhere inside Japan, 
s h a r p h a c h i r e r e r e Now, this is、um, s h a r p I mean, you don't really have to know this word. Uh, uh, but anyway, that's how Japanese people tend to say hashtag or pound, whatever word you, even, you want to use. But notice that we say rei. Okay, so there's kind of this tricky thing with Japanese that sometimes people, Japanese people say zero, and sometimes people say rei.、Uh, it, for phone numbers, I notice it really does、uh, kind of chop and change quite a bit. So, if you, for anywhere in Japan, if you call this number, we have our conditional if. Okay, so if you do this, Kodomo no biyoki ya kega ga nitsuite, ya kega nitsuite, so dan suru koto ga dekimas. Alright, so you can consult somebody. Alright, suru koto ga dekimas. You're able to consult somebody to do with your child's illness. Alright, so specifically dealing with children. Let me see, Tokyo ya. Osaka nado dewa. So, nado here, it's not in the word list, but this is etc. So, basically, we're talking about in the big cities. So, if you call this different number, kodomo igai no biyoki. Okay? Now, igai is accepting. Okay? So, basically, we're talking about anyone but children. So, non children. No biyoki a keni suit emo so ranku suru koto yon tekimas. Alright, so we, you can call this separate number, it's like a non kids helpline. We have the kids helpline and we have the non kids helpline. Okay, so that's, that's,、uh, that's it. That's the end of this article. I think quite a good article.、Um, with these NHK Easy articles, depending on your level, I think it's always good to click on the button,、uh, this button here, which、uh, will read the Audio out for you. And I know、uh, I wouldn't, I mean, I would have done this maybe quite a few years ago, but I know a lot of people who download these MP3s and stack them all up on their phone or whatever and then listen to them during their commute. Okay, and just try and listen to them lots and lots of times.、Um, and I think that's very good because you want to just cl basically close your eyes and listen to that Japanese coming in and then later on read the article because I don't really say it's cheating, but it makes it a bit easier, obviously, if you can read the words. But if you want to work on your listening skills, you really just want to listen to the same piece of audio over and over and over again. And then, you know, then read it, then listen to it, then read it, and just go back and forth like that.、Uh, I know some people even do this and then record themselves.、Um, basically, they're listening to the audio through, the, through a headset. And then they, you get your phone, turn on the, re the recording app. And then as they speak to you, as the audio comes in, you then try and repeat. Uh, into your recording app, and then you listen to them back side by side. You can do this through Audacity or some similar program. But、uh, obviously, this might sound a bit extreme, but the people I know who have done this, their Japanese is very, very good. And it's good because they do these kind of techniques, which is trying to emulate what a Japanese person sounds like. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, please check out the other videos on this channel. I've got a whole bunch of other NHK Easy articles which I go through in detail like this.、Uh, click the bell, subscribe so you get all the notifications when I put out a new video, and I'll see you guys.